Coming up, the latest on the safe gun control laws. And high school students lend a helping hand. And we'll also tell you how you can feed the needy while burning off some calories. There's only one way to find out, so stay tuned for MC In Focus. Good afternoon and welcome to MC in Focus, Montgomery College's student-produced newscast. I'm Jose Marino. And I'm Maimuna Kamara. Thanks for joining us today. Maryland's House of Delegates has a passed gun control law that is expected to be signed into law next week. This one, stricter than ever, requires fingerprints, extensive background checks, and hours of training before licensing. Maryland joins Connecticut and several other states in the restriction guns since the Newton shooting last December. Gun rights advocates tried in vain to persuade the House not to pass the bill. Why was a mandatory seven-day wait to buy a gun turned into a 55-day wait? Governor O'Malley proposed the legislation. Metro plans to add security cameras to its rails cars for the first time. A Metro spokesman says the nation's second busiest subway system is a target for attacks. But he added that Metro is trying to deploy a next generation security system. The transit agency now has 1,900 security cameras system wide. Metro plans to increase the number of cameras to nearly 6,000 units. Some would be installed on Metro's 7,000 series due out next year. An agency spokesman says the expansion will cost more than $6 million. The camera will allow Metro to observe both security and crowding issues. The security cameras will also monitor its stations and parking garages as well. If you think the back taxes are too pricey, you're not the only one. The Montgomery County Council is considering making changes to the current five cent plastic back tax law. Last year's controversial tax brings in more than two and a half times its original projected revenue. According to the Department of Environmental Protection, the back tax has produced two and a half million dollars in revenue from tax bags since its authorization last year. The tax was introduced to discourage the use of plastic bags and to reduce litter on the streets and in public places. Montgomery County Council members say the law is breeding resentment among local residents. Montgomery County is currently the only county in Maryland authorizing the fee on plastic bags. The Montgomery County Council is considering modifying the tax to only affect grocery stores. More than 50 million Americans go hungry each year. While there are many organizations dedicated to collecting food, many of the donations aren't very healthy. Joseph Brandenburg is a D.C. area fitness expert and founder of the Body You Want personal training program. Brandenburg has noticed this flaw in feeding the needy and has started his own food drive collecting only those high in protein. High protein foods include things as canned chicken, canned tuna, and natural peanut butter. For every four pounds of non-perishable protein donated, Mr. Brandenburg will give a 45-minute metabolic acceleration class. That's a much more friendlier than the normal $25 fee. The classes will meet every Sunday this month. The Body You Want Gym is located on M and Jefferson Street in Georgetown. For more information, you can follow Joseph Brandenburg on Twitter at The Body You Want or on Facebook. Coming up um, on MC in Focus, we'll take a look at this weekend's weather. It's finally starting to warm up. And we'll check in on the world of sports. MC in Focus will continue after these student-produced news commercials. Are you ready for a booming career in television broadcasting? Get the opportunity and experience at Montgomery College. Montgomery College offers television production courses where students learn camera operations, audio techniques, editing, producing, and directing. You can develop professional skills in a real-world, hands-on environment. So get an internship and an associate's degree in an energetic work field that pays. I got my degree. What are you waiting for?
Welcome back to MC in Focus. Let's take a look at this weekend's weather. It's wet outside, so be careful behind the wheel this morning. We'll have partly cloudy skies. The high is a very comfortable 63 degrees. We'll drop back near freezing, 33 degrees later this evening. For Saturday's forecast, it's going to be a gorgeous day around the DMV. Perfect weather to go check out the cherry blossoms. Sunny skies, high of only 59, so you might want to carry a light jacket with you. The low tonight will be about 41, and is looking good for Sunday too, with temperatures in the high 60s during the day with partly cloudy skies and a nice low of 51 degrees in the late evening. We're finally starting to feel that long-awaited spring feeling weather. 40 degrees in April might work in Illinois, but not so much in the DMV. That's your MC in Focus week weekend weather forecast. Just a reminder, Montgomery College employee gets a special discount on Washington Wizards ticket. For more information, go to insidemc.montgomerycollege.edu. Take advantage. There's only three home games left. For more on sports, here's Kevin Saidi. Welcome, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you. For your MC in Focus update, uh, sports update, I'm Kevin Saidi. The fallout continues out of the Rutgers men's basketball program this week. Former head coach Mike Rice was fired on Wednesday after a video leak showing him verbally abusing his players, pushing them, shoving them, and even yelling obscenities at them. There were reportedly hundreds of hours of videotape of Rice abusing his players. In a press conference, Rice said he was sorry for his actions and he takes full responsibility for them. The Washington Nationals win again last night and are off to a great start this season. They have completed the, the sweep against the Miami Marlins after last night's 6-1 victory. Moving on to the NBA, the Thunder took, uh, took care of the San Antonio Spurs 100-88. Kevin Durant had 25 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, along with Russell Westbrook dropping 27. Tim Duncan had 24 points, along with Kawhi Leonard. The Thunder just half a game back behind San Antonio Spurs for the number one seed in the West. The Denver Nuggets took care of the Dallas Mavericks last night, 95-94, and the Chicago Bulls beat the Brooklyn Nets 92-90. Let's take a look at some NFL headlines from the past week. The Washington Redskins re-signed cornerback D'Angelo Hall for a one-year deal for just over $2 million. The team also signed another backup to RG3 quarterback Pat White. The Arizona Cardinals acquired quarterback Carson Palmer from the Oakland Raiders for a seventh round pick. And this comes one day after the Oakland Raiders traded for Matt Flynn from the Seattle Seahawks. The 49ers bolstered their secondary by signing cornerback Namdi Asamugwa to a one-year deal worth $3 million dollars. The NCAA Men's Basketball Final Four will take place tomorrow night in the Georgia Dome. On one side of the bracket, we have the two number four seeds that will do battle in what is truly a strength versus strength game. The high-powered Michigan Wolverines offense will take on the stifling Syracuse Orange defense. The Wolverines are averaging a, a 78.8 points per game through the first four games of the tournament, led by cold-blooded point guard Trey Burke. The Syracuse Orange are allowing 45.5 points per game in the tournament as well. It really should be a great game. And on the other side of the bracket, we have the number nine seed of Wichita State Shockers shocking the West region by reaching the final four. They take on the number one overall seed, Louisville Cardinals, led by legendary coach Rick Pitino. And guys, Kevin Ware will be on hand for the game to support his teammates, the Louisville Cardinals. Great. That's a good job. Assistance for undocumented students has been a hot button topic here in Maryland for some time now. For a better look at how students are helping undocumented immigrants, we'll go to England Reader. Montgomery College is surrounded by an active and supportive community with many organizations that specialize in helping county residents. Here's an organization for helping undocumented young people. Casa de Maryland has been providing assistance to immigrants since 1985. After successfully supporting the Maryland Dream Act, they created a program centered on helping undocumented youths. The members you see here are involved in creating a brighter future for all immigrant students.
This is the program's coordinator. My name is Ruben Sardino, the youth organizer at Casa de Madre. The program began uh, August of 15, uh, it was initiated through a memo that President Obama issued. For more information, go to their website, www.casademaryland.org, or you may call them at 301-431-4185. The December shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown was a rude awakening for the country. Since the incident, Montgomery County has increased its efforts in providing school safety. County officials are working to revamp a valued program from the community starting this year. School and police officials are ironing out the details of a plan to increase police presence at schools. At 4% rate, in the county's police budget would increase the police force by 134 officers. The change depends on the approval of the program budget in May. Today marks the end of Montgomery College's annual Shakespeare Festival. Yes, this guy. During the festival titled Willpower, faculty and students celebrated the remarkable world of Shakespeare. Each day they presented master classes, performances, lectures, and workshops. Absolutely. Uh, when we do the Shakespeare Festival, it is a chance, and, and most of the things that the college does that's open to students and open to the community, it's such a wonderful way to broaden your horizons and learn something that's really enjoyable at no cost. It's, it's a fabulous resource. Am I still reading? Tell me when. But of course, no tribute to Shakespeare would be complete without Romeo and Juliet. And the national players performed the classic tragedy last night in front of an auditorium full of Shakespeare fans. If you missed this year's festival, you can visit the college website. And don't forget to mark your calendars for the 2014 Shakespeare Festival as well. The Wheaton Week High School Sports Academy is an after-school program offered by the County Department of Recreation at five area high schools. While it's called the Sports Academy, it offers so much more. Students at Wheaton High have literally made a way for cancer patients to feel more comfortable. 25 girls participated in a hair design class where they made their own wigs. The meetings were held weekly from October through the end of last month. They were taught by Patricia Prather, a licensed cosmetologist. The wigs are being donated to Lisa's Leeds. Lisa Takunaki Zuru, a cancer survivor and the owner of Lisa's Leeds, donates hats, scarves, and wigs to Montgomery County cancer patients. The Sports Academy also works with a program called Look Good, Feel Better, which is dedicated to improving self-esteem and quality of life for women in cancer treatment. All right, that about wraps it up for us for MC in Focus. One more story quick before we get in there. Self-preservation is a natural instinct, especially when certain death is possible. Colorado movie theater shooter James Holmes made an offer to plead guilty in court with hopes of receiving life in prison and avoiding the death penalty. Holmes is guilty of killing 12 people in Aurora, Colorado movie, the movie theater last summer. Colorado State Prosecution rejected his offer and will pursue the death penalty. Many of the movie theater victims would like to see Holmes would like to see Holmes prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, even if that means capital punishment. Such a terrible, terrible, tragic uh, incident that happened that day. One of the worst days in American history. All right, that about wraps it up for us today. You know, I'm staying focused. I'm Mona Camara. And I'm Jose Marino. And I'm Kevin Saidi. Join us next week on MCN Focus. Have a great week.